Hey guys, it's Nadine. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun and exciting because I'm finally going to give you guys more tips on how I like to edit my videos, how I like to add a bit more me, a bit more personality to my videos because I really think that video editing is a great way, is a great form of self-expression and your audience can definitely get to know you a bit more through how you edit your videos. So I hope that my tips can help you out, especially if you like making more like I don't like calling it this, but like aesthetic videos. I'm just gonna give you my tips and tricks. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and I'm so excited and happy to be working with them again. And I will talk a little bit more about them at the end of this video. Firstly, I wanna talk about the programs that I use for video editing. I use Final Cut Pro X. And then for graphics or any other type of photo editing, I do use Photoshop and I do use Procreate on the iPad with an Apple Pen. Here are five tips I have to help spice up your videos. So before starting a video project, consider creating a mood board. This will help you decide the overall theme or vibe of your video and you can refer back to this when you lack inspiration or when you're editing multiple videos at a time. I personally like to pull pretty pictures from Pinterest but I also find inspiration from album cover art, music videos, book covers, web design, Instagram photos, and etc. everywhere basically. By the way, I do use Photoshop when creating my mood boards, but using Microsoft PowerPoint would work perfectly fine as well. I also recommend creating a color palette so your background, font colors, other graphics, etc. can stay consistent throughout the whole video. Personally, I'm not super strict about this for my own videos, but it is nice to have an overall guide. I use this website called Coolers, which is a color palette generator. You simply hit the space bar until colors you like pop up. Click on the lock button on the ones you like and just keep hitting the space bar until you're satisfied with the palette. You can of course create a color palette based off of the colors from the pictures on the mood board, but I like using coolers. I think it's a really fun tool and a fun way to generate a color palette. So I'm just screenshotting my final palette and I'm adding it onto my mood board. I'm also gonna add and edit the colors because I'm not super satisfied with it yet. And once I'm happy, I save the image and I put it onto my video timeline on Final Cut Pro X so that I can refer to it whenever I need it. Tip number two is to add fun backgrounds and utilize picture and picture. You can use an image, a video, or create your own background. So let me just quickly share with you some of my favorite resources first. Pinterest is an obvious first choice. It just makes finding background images so easy, especially as it recommends you other backgrounds that you might like below an image that you click on. Next is DeviantArt. This website is a little bit older, I think, because I've been using this for such a long time, but there are a lot of texture packs to search for on here. Basically, people curate different textures and put them into folders, and it's just super convenient and easy if you want just a bulk of textures already saved up onto your computer. Stock image websites are also a great place to look for background options, although some of them are a little bit corny for my taste. But in terms of crediting, I think stock image and like fair use is it's just it's just the most convenient. For videos, stock video websites are also great. I like searching for videos on ocean waves, sunsets, and clouds. My last suggestion is to create your own background. This obviously takes a bit more time, but if you're feeling it, I highly recommend doing this because it just adds so much of your personality to the video. I created my background using Procreate on an iPad and an Apple Pencil. It was actually my first time really using Procreate, so I wasn't very used to it, but yeah, here's a little time lapse of that. Okay, so time to show you how to create the picture-in-picture -picture effect. It's super simple. Drag your desired background onto the timeline and then drag the video clip that you want on top of the background. And right now we are creating layers. Yay! 
Resize the video however you want, and there you have it, a simple picture-in-picture -picture effect. You can add a bit more pizzazz by adding the video clip underneath, and just a little tip that I like to do is I like to change the opacity and blending mode of the video from the upper right hand settings. My next tip is to add elements. This is basically any PNGs, doodles, even washi tape or film borders. This is kind of similar to the first tip that I have, but uh, I like to find PNGs or elements on deviant art as well. I search for PNG packs and they give you a lot of PNGs in one folder, like I was saying about the textures before. So here's a sample and you can use these images to decorate your videos. I also do look for PNGs on Pinterest or sometimes you can also search for collage packs. Sometimes when the photo is not really a PNG, you kind of have to manually turn it into one on Photoshop. Okay, so now it's time for me to show you how to add elements to your videos. It's pretty much the same thing as the previous one. So coming from the previous example, I'm just dragging the PNG photos on top of the previous layers. So in this one, I'm just adding some star doodles at the sides. I'm creating a break in between so we can have a little bit of a blinking effect. So if you can see me play it back, there's a slight blinking effect because of the breaks I added. Okay, for the next tip, I'm now showing you how I do the handwritten text effect as if you're actually writing on the screen. Okay, I'm pretty sure that there's a more legit way to do this, but I personally, I just screen record a video on an iPad of me writing whatever text I need against a bright green background on Procreate. Essentially, we are creating a green screen for our text. Afterwards, on my video timeline, I have the background that I want, and then I'm gonna drag the screen recording on top of it. I'll do the basic cropping of the screen recording and adjusting of the size. And when I have it the way that I want, on the effects tab on the lower right hand side of Final Cut Pro, I'm searching for keyer. I then drag the effect onto the screen recording and ta-da, we have the effect. I guess this is like my hack on doing like an animation effect because I really do not know how to actually do this but this way is pretty simple and it works for me so I hope you enjoy that. My last tip is to play with the coloring of your videos. This can definitely change the mood of your video clips. Again, I am by no means a professional editor or anything. I literally just play around with the settings to come up with something I like and I truly do not know how to color properly or what I'm doing so please do not judge if you actually know the things in depth. Again, right now let's look at the effects tab and look for the color board effect and drag it on top of your video clip. Then you'll see that there's a drop down menu of different color correcting options. For the color board, there's the master, shadows, midtones, and highlights circles. And just play around, move the different uh, circles to different colors that you like. I personally like a more warmer and pinky, but also sometimes green kind of um, image. So that's how, what I always kind of gravitate towards. You can also adjust the saturation and exposure of the clips. And then for the other color correcting adjuster things that I've mentioned, like the wheel and the curves, I really don't know how to explain them, but just play around with them until you get the vibe that you like and just, you know, have fun with it. So here are the before and afters of me coloring the image. So it's basically like a filter. Um, but yeah, those are my tips! So those are the tips and as you can see, I use a program called Procreate throughout the video. And actually this is a new program that I'm trying to learn and trying to play and toy with. So 
Because it's something new that I've never really used before, I am actually taking a class off of Skillshare about Procreate and learning how to use Procreate better. So Skillshare is an online learning platform perfect for beginners as well as experts or pros, anyone really who just wants to learn something new or refresh their minds and just make something creative, do something creative. There are a lot of different classes to choose from on Skillshare ranging from photography, graphic design, illustration, filmmaking, and a lot of other like fun creative ideas. So like I said, I'm taking a Procreate class and it's called digital illustration, learn to use Procreate, and it's taught by Jerome Vogel who is a digital illustrator. This class gives you the basics on how to use Procreate and I really like seeing other people's workflow especially when they're doing like drawing or using a new program that I've never used before because I find it super useful, informative, and yeah, I just get a lot of ideas from them. If you're looking to try and learn something new, I highly recommend Skillshare. It's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription, and the first 1,000 people who click on the link below can get a two-month worth of free premium Skillshare membership. So click the link down below if you want to get started on your creative journey today. Yay! Okay, so again, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that this was very helpful and informative for you. If you guys do try out any of the tips that I've given you, then please do let me know. Tag me on Instagram, Insta Stories, Twitter, uh, comment down below, etc. I would love to know if there's any other like specific editing technique that you want me to teach you. Do let me know and I'll try my best to kind of break it down to you and kind of, yeah figure it out okay again thank you so much for watching and if you've been a long time subscriber did you notice i cut my hair um thought that i'd address it at the end of the video <laughs> but yeah um thanks for watching my social links are all linked down below this video was from my heart to yours and i'll see you guys super soon bye